So you have a product or you have an idea for a product. What the heck do you do next? I work with a lot of entrepreneurs who come to me and they say, I have this idea or I have this thing. Uh, I've, I've worked actually with a lot of entrepreneurs who come to me with a product and they say, I've got the product. What do I do now? How many customers do you have? Zero. Okay. Well, then we got some work to do. If that's you or you're still waiting for your idea to hit you, we're going to solve the problem of where do we get our first customers in this video. Originally, we were going to talk about, okay, how do you get your first 10 customers? But I realized we can solve that in, in about 10 seconds. So the solution to that, where do you get your first 10 customers, is go to your ideal target market and get them their product, whatever you have to do in order to get feedback so that you can make changes to the product if necessary or if it is good enough to then go out and scale it using a model like this. Now, in the previous video before this one, I mentioned that the first thing you need to do is to have your product or service on a sales channel. And we went over a couple of examples of sales channels. Now, what we're going to stack on top of this in order to get your product or your service or your idea out to the world is we want to marry this with some sort of an audience and preferably two types of audiences. Now, if we don't have an audience, this one's plural, audiences. If we don't have an audience, then we can either build one or we can borrow from other people's audiences. That's how we can get our product or service out into the world and get them seeing our sales channel so we can follow up with them and then sell them more things. So it, it, it really baffles me when someone comes to me and they have the product part figured out and they say, I don't have customers and I don't know what to do next. The answer of what to do next is very simple, and I feel like I'm repeating myself now, is to bring them out into these audiences. So what, what, uh, what might these audiences look like? Uh, pink will do. This can, be, this can be a YouTube audience. For example, you right now can open up a YouTube advertising account, and if you sell a, a workout band or a, a, a new type of workout band, you can do a demonstration video of you doing curls with your workout bands and have it overlay every single video out there about how to get ripped and how to have a six pack. And you can have people see that ad for like 20 cents a person. And if people don't watch the ad, you don't pay for it. You could also put this on, uh, let's say Instagram. You know, there is a company called Shreds. They're a supplement company. They built their entire business on Instagram by building up and advertising to audiences that just follow fitness-related Instagram pages. And they do millions of dollars because they're in front of an audience. Now, the other way is to build up our own audience. So this would be something like an email list. I guess we'd say this is paid and this is organic or, and we can actually mesh the two. So we could pay to build the email list. We could pay to build up, this might be Amazon rankings and reviews. And this is going to be where we have the control long term, obviously. In fact, I recommend that most of our efforts is in building up our own audiences. Now, you might be familiar with that some companies take public funding or they have investors in order to get products and services out into the world. What they do most of the time with those funds is spend them in one of these places so that they can send all of the eyeballs in these audiences over to the sales channel. Whether the sales channel is a website or it is uh, uh, their e-commerce checkout or it's Amazon or whatever it is, they're sending all the eyeballs here. 
So when you hear that a business sold a whole bunch, but they weren't profitable, good chance that they spend most of their energy building up the sales channel so that in years later, they could step off of that uh, gas pedal and make all their money in the rest of the boxes of the blueprint, which we went over in video one. Now, if you don't have your product ready, if you, are, if you don't have your blueprint built out, if you don't have this exposure yet, and you're still working on building your first million dollar business, we have some trainings and some help that will allow you to do that much faster. And we have some of those linked over at freedomfastlane.com slash blueprint. And there you can get some help for building your first million dollar business. We would love to help you grow that business faster and get you to that million dollar level. Thanks so much for watching. If you like this, please let us know in the comments and we'll see you on future videos. Thanks.